My denim fitted, but I rock it like a baby in the corner. I put the water in the ocean in the city that I'm from. After a year on the road, I thought I'd get tired of traveling. The endless clatter of railways, highways, and everything in between. But as my train pulled into the station at Bellariva, I felt every bit as excited as the first day of my journey. <laughs> a whole year. It felt like a lifetime. The places I'd seen, the people I'd met, of course, the forgotten treasures I'd given a new lease of life along the way. I'm a restorer by trade. Bringing our most beloved possessions back to life is what I love to do. I'd been traveling for months, working my way from one town to the next, fixing everything from family heirlooms to VCRs. Bella Riva was my chance to take a break. Unfortunately, that would have to wait until after I'd unpacked. My parents took this after I made my first repair. It seems like a lifetime ago. My favorite overalls. These will never go out of style. I'll hand these out once I'm settled in. Fingers crossed they get me some work. Who doesn't love a scrunchie? Practical and stylish. My passport. Not many blank pages left now. I picked up these sunglasses on my last stop. Hopefully I'm cool enough to pull them off. Finally, I'd made it to Bella Riva. I'd come for the food festival, taking place in a few days' time. After living off TV dinners and instant ramen for the last few months, I was craving a decent meal. Of course, I'd need to earn enough money to pay for it, so I figured I'd head out the next day and find some work. My parents never wanted me to go. They wanted me to stay in their shop and have a simple, stationary life. I knew there was a world out there, beyond the four walls of our antique store, that I had to be a part of. I daydreamed constantly about the weird and wonderful places each of our antiques came from. I loved figuring out their stories, revealing the memories hidden beneath the screws and wires. My story in Bellariva began with a little girl, and a voice she was longing to hear. You can fix it, can't you? I can't afford to replace it.
These connections aren't quite right. I should check the wiring. Looks like this new circuit board is all hooked up. Make sure I screw everything back together. When I handed the phone back to Carmen, she seemed almost reluctant to take it from me. So it's all working now, is it? I don't have to leave it to dry or let it cool down? Nope, it's ready to go. It'll be ringing off the hook in no time. That's if I can pay my phone bill anyway. <laughs> and the rent, and the suppliers. Anyway, take a seat and I'll be right with you. Your coffee's on the house. I sat at one of the empty tables, while at the counter, Carmen had started dialing the phone. How's my favorite sister doing today? As she talked, Carmen became more and more tense. This didn't seem like a call for some cooking advice. I know I still owe you from last time, but I can't afford to take part in the festival if I don't pay. I could almost feel the eye roll at the other end of the line. You don't need to be here though. Can't you just put the check in the post? When the call ended, Carmen brought me my coffee, her hands trembling. Sorry about that. Uh, my sister's decided to fly in for a visit. <sighs> oh god, I have to get ready. Actually, I might have another job for you. Can you come by tomorrow? <laughs> 